How do you think the deployment of British troops in the vicinity, 8,000 of them, is going to impact this conflict? Well, I think the most important thing is we're signalling a message to Putin uh, that we are serious. Um, the big issue, though, is following the recent missile attack on two civilian buildings in Kyiv, while the Secretary General of NATO is in the capital, it, to me, sends a strong message from the Russians that they're not really serious about negotiation. If they're not serious about negotiation, uh, we, we really do need to uh, continue to signal to them that uh, we are serious. Uh, I'm certainly one of the proponents that, uh, just having seen what went on in Syria, uh, particularly early on in the war, where the Russians were, uh, uh, you know, again, bombing civilian areas with Assad, committing war crimes. We're seeing a repeat of that action here in Ukraine. And we know the Russian playbook. Uh, they have no respect for international law, international norms. Uh, and I do think we do need to, to step up and protect. I think oh, one of the big oh, issues, though... Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, just, just quickly on that point that you said that we're signalling to Russia that we are serious. But are we serious? If Russia continues after we do deploy troops to Eastern Europe and, and they continue to, to advance, would we be willing or do you think we should be willing to escalate the conflict or to do more to support Ukraine? Uh, I certainly think we should be doing more to support Ukraine. Uh, I, I support the Foreign Secretary's uh, I certainly wish um, to try and supply the uh, Ukrainians with uh, airplanes so they can at least protect the skies. What we saw, uh, at least what I saw, uh, certainly at the beginning of this war uh, and certainly previously in Syria, is the uh, Russians uh, really used planes to devastate uh, not just military targets, but particularly to target civilian areas, I think uh, committing war crimes and uh, you know, we have to see, you know, what our stomach is, you know, as, as the public at large, as to how much we want to engage. The big issue is that we engaged in Afghanistan, we engaged in Iraq. And I, I just think it's, you know, we generally need the public on side if we are to take things further. It's not just us, but it's the Americans too. This whole Iraq, Afghanistan hangover, as it's referred to, I think is having an impact on our ability to really to take Putin on.